Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from the finals of the Fly Better Open at the Las Vegas Open. Today, I'm joined by my good friend, William Hagwood. Uh, it's been an experience here at Dion, having so much fun, watching so many games. Uh, it's been a great weekend. That's right. That's right. Fifth, this is our 15th game of the weekend. That's right. 15th game of the weekend. We are uh, We're going to have a good time. We're looking forward to it. And uh, we have Duncan Howard of the Nova region versus Daniel Isophane Lim of California. This is wait a second. This is West Coast versus East Coast West, right now. West Coast versus East Coast. That's right. A separatist Separatist Civil War going on right now. <laughs> so uh, uh, you're about to break down these lists. Everybody at home, it is time for you to choose your champion right now. Who do you think has the advantage in this matchup? Now, a quick note, as uh, Will gets ready to break these down, I want to uh, let you guys know that you might see some small artifacting hap artifact artifacts uh, in the image we're just adjusting um, uh, there was a request to to use some different dice and uh, in order to accommodate that we had to adjust a couple of different things so if it looks a little little different you, you know why but uh, nothing's broken <laughs> that's that's what's <laughs> important for you guys to know working, yes. nothing's broken we, we are online and operational all right well let's go ahead and break it down which side do you want to start on uh, start on Duncan's side here. Uh, Django Fett and Darth Maul. Uh, Django Fett in the fire spray here. Uh, as a note, can uh, compare his difficulty of his maneuver to that of the enemy. And if the difficulty of Django's maneuver, let's uh, give an example of white, uh, is less difficult than, let's say, the Vulture's red maneuver, uh, Django Fett can change a eyeball result to a blank result. Uh, that's on offense and defense. You can really shut down some of these calculate usage, though because of uh, things in Daniel's list, uh, he might be doing a lot of blue maneuvers. So we'll try to keep track of that as best we can. With Django though, or excuse me, on Django, he's got Lone Wolf with some rerolls. He's got Count Dooku to modify some dice and carry around a Force Point. Proton Bombs, uh, which could be very effective mm -hmm. in this matchup. And I guess that's it. That's it. Uh, that makes Django Fett 103 points. And then his partner in crime is Darth Maul. Darth Maul, that's right. Mm -hmm. In the scimitar here, can perform bonus attacks by spending multiple force, either as a bonus attack against a different target if you hit, uh, or if your attack miss, you can do that bonus primary attack against the same target. It is primary attack. You can't do the instinctive and double tap. We thought we could. All right. Well, you, you could you could proton and then and okay. then uh, and then primary. Yep. That is correct. You can proton torpedo. Uh, now it has hate, so can take damage and recover force charges. Those proton torpedoes we we're talking about long range four dice attacks mm -hmm. uh, that require a target lock. General Grievous, uh, which acts as a way to cancel uh, hit results when there's more than two, or two or more, excuse me. And then the additional force point here uh, coming from Chancellor Palpatine. And this has been a tool that Darth Maul has been able to utilize to double stress uh, many ships and mm -hmm. keep them uh, out of the fight uh, say uh, K turn, uh, print printing them from say K turning, things like that. Uh, so that ability does read after Maul defense. If the attacker is at range two, you can spend a force charge. If you do, the attacker gains one stress token. And because of the combination of uh, hate on Maul, you can do that uh, quite regularly as mm -hmm. long as you're taking damage. Yeah, I would think that in, in most situations, he's probably going to prefer to lean on the Force, mm -hmm. uh, just like it, for its normal ability. I think in this matchup, I'm not sure how how, how helpful the double stress is, but in a, in a key situation, could be money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, moving on to Isophane's list. Starts off with... Uh, two of these Separatist drones, those are the Initiative 3 Vultures. 
They have grappling stuffs. They can grab onto the asteroids in this matchup to mm -hmm. ignore them as long as they overlap. And then all of these uh, vultures have the standardized upgrade independent calculations. When they perform a white calculate action, they can take a stress to gain an additional calculate uh, token. We just had Maul Sloop in the corner, by the way. Okay, nice, nice. Setting up uh, a good attack vector. Now that double calculate is going to be important for the ones that do have Discord missiles. Uh, Discord missiles are a remote that you launch at the start of the engagement phase uh, by spending one calculate. And they launch with a three bank or three forward and they cannot be reloaded. So we're going to be looking at for those to be launched, uh, like I said, at the start of combat, seeing if they can be a valuable tool against these ships, uh, notably because neither one of them can bear roll to shake those discords off of their chassis. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. We got uh, DFS 311. Uh, the same struts, same independent calculations, though DFS-311 can sling a calculate to another ship at range 0 to 3. Though, as a note, you cannot sling a calculate and then use that calculate to launch a Discord missile. Yeah, that timing doesn't work. Nope, not anymore. It does not, though. I, Isophane's well, well aware of that interaction. <laughs> Aw, <Aww>, man. <laughs> yeah. But rounding out the list here is our tactical relay carrier, Captain Seer and the Mobilab. Seer so allows friendlies having zero to three to spend a calculate if the defender is in its bullseye mm -hmm. to cancel an evade results. Very similar to crack shot, the, the talent upgrade. Uh, just uh, instead of spending a charge, you spend a calculate. Another way to spend calculates is that relay K2B4. I can spend a calculate to either uh, add an evade result unless the attacker chooses to gain one strain token. Uh, the rest of Seer's upgrades here are Impervium Plating, uh, can discard sh uh, face-up ship damage. Uh, things like Direct Hit is the main one, Structural Damage. There's quite a few of the ship crits uh, that are real bad. Mm -hmm. uh, then Solus One, uh, the title for the Bubble Lab, Adds two hull, and if the defender, or excuse me, while you defend, if the attacker is outside your firing arc, you may reroll one defense dice. So really defensive here, Captain Seer, uh, but allows uh, an offensive boost as well if they can line up those bullseyes. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna change some of these colors around. I realize that I got them mixed up. That one is this one we well, have uh your two uh struts aren't in the same oh i got it i got it give okay sec, that's what you're doing right now just perfect doing a little swap it swap swap there you go and that one is the black one bam all right perfect now that's legit uh if you uh he has them uh with the ship models as well you can see the brown models here are the ones with the discords on board. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, so you got DFS 11, DFS 311 on that center tile right now, the center asteroid, likely going to end up uh, going to the left. Now, Duncan here, he's setting up to come, it seems like he's setting up to come from two different angles. He's got the hard turn with Django to come in, and uh, and there, he's going to slow roll it. Um, but really, like right now, with his current position, he could even go towards the bottom of the board if he wanted to, and uh, and kind of come in from an L position if he wants to. Like yeah, it's it's unlikely that he does that much maneuvering because obviously the Darth Maul is the least maneuverable of them all. But I know he probably wants to try to take his time because it is the the it's not it's not as removable as not as mobile as uh, as Django Fett. And the way I look at Darth Maul, Darth Maul's job with those bonus attacks, Darth Maul's job with those bonus attacks is to make sure that he is, uh, he's, he's clearing out as many points as he has. Something up with the, the list? Oh, no, how do you, uh, oh, the re chat. Re reframe it so you can see chat as well. Got it. I don't know when I clicked. There it is. Okay. All right. So, um, let me click over here. All right. 
Um, so looking forward to see what Duncan's planted. And he is he is going towards the bottom of the board. He's waiting. He might be waiting for this firing squad that's uh, that's right here at the bottom part of your board. You got one Discord carrier and two of the normal droids. Okay, here we go. That bank is in range to scoop up a target lock. I, we're expecting a proton torpedo right mm -hmm. here. Before the game, you and I, William, talked about that there is a possibility that in a single turn, Duncan could, if all the dice work out, clear three ships a turn mm -hmm. with that mm -hmm. uh, with, with that bonus attack ability from from Darth Maul. But you would need some really really hot dice on that. Agreed. Agreed. All right. I mean, yeah, Epi I agree, Epionic. If, if a single droid can withstand a, a proton torpedo, mm -hmm. that's all the better. Make him, make him waste those resources. We see one slung over to, uh, from 311, over to that target locked. What's the, what's the range for K2B4? Three. Three. All right, so that's probably in range. Ooh. It's really close. Oh, man, I don't know. Right, it's going to be close. <laughs> so uh, this is uh, Hadron, Hadronic Chaos said, I already voted, but my kid wants everyone to know that he's all in on Django Fett. All right, here all we right. go. Here's probably that Proton Torpedo. Expect him to scoop up four dice. Here we go. We got three hits. That's a force. Turns out to a crit with the Proton Torpedo ability. And on defense, Roger Roger will do that. And has the option now to check for K2B4. That yep, is in range. In range. Str strain for an evade or take. What's the plan here? Takes the strain. All right. Takes a strain. Takes only. Uh, takes a hit and a crit. It's a fuel leak on that okay. separatist droid. Ooh, I just hit the wrong button. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. Okay, we only need this page anyway. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put that damage on. That's going into the purple droid right there. That is one of the Discord carriers. No, no, I was doing this. Oh, gotcha. How did the uh, betting end up? So, um, the betting ended up with Duncan at a 59% advantage. Okay. Right here, uh, with 156 votes coming in. So uh, we have 1.2 million points up for grabs on this one. We'll see how that ends up being uh, ends up being split up. Now, if I, what I would love to see in the chat right now is what what is the reason? What if you? Why did you vote for for who you voted for? Is it because you know Duncan Howard as a name? Is it because you're a friend of uh, of Daniel Lim? Obviously, these are two people that are, are widely known in the X-wing community. Sure. I would say right. more than like your average player. Mm -hmm. um, Nationally so, known. I mean, we've been talking about isofane for <laughs> yeah for years at this point. So uh, I, I would love to do it, but I got to know who you voted for before uh, before you let me know. Somebody does not All like right. droid swarms. Okay, and uh, Epionic, this is very true. The last system open that we had, the loss, um, Philadelphia. No, th nope, not not Philadelphia. It was uh, Dallas, Texas. That's right. That's right. The Dallas, Texas system open. Um, Duncan won with a vulture swarm, so he is familiar with them. There, there is nothing on that side of the board that he doesn't know about. Flew well, a little bit, do flew a little bit of a different uh, type of uh, of swarm, but I, th I feel like he, he's got some knowledge on what's on the other side. Right. I, I remember his list had discords. It it did not have the independent calculations. Right. I mean, it didn't exist at the time. Right. Exactly. So I do. Uh, I was watching them getting set up, and while they were going through the different cards, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Duncan, uh, as you should made sure to read uh, independent calculations multiple times to make sure you understand what mm -hmm. was actually that effect uh, then same thing with like K2B4 as well just just familiarizing himself with the, the different interactions of calculates shout out to Iceman HG for the sub thank you so much uh, yep 
We also got I am the Dave signed up for the Prime Gaming. Exclamation point Prime. Find out how you can get a free Twitch subscription. Bob A. Fett saying, voted Duncan because I prefer CIS. Take a second and think about <laughs> that answer, and uh, we'll move on. You take it off? He gone. Goodbye. Bye, Chambly. All right. All right, now we do have on Django Fett, we got some proton bombs, some spicy, spicy proton bombs. Uh, I wonder if that will end up being uh, being something that matters. That's definitely on the exit trajectory. You know, mm -hmm. you have Django come in at some point, do one of these, engage, boost away, and then drop a bomb somewhere around here and maybe catch a couple of those droids. Exactly. The, the combination of uh, rear arc and bomb dropping is just a thing of beauty for the fire sprays. Most of the time you have to make positional sacrifices to get that bomb in the right position, not the fire spray. <laughs> uh, that's where it wants to be, it wants you chasing it so it can range control better and uh, force you into awkward positions. We see right. that strut rotate there. Mm -hmm. he, he's pointing at Maul. He's decided that uh, going after the one agility ship might be better. Um, there's, gonna, there's a strain out there at the moment for Maul. Let's go ahead and take a moment and look at that dial. Just to remind ourselves how it, uh, it relieves stress. So a lot of the most likely maneuvers will will clear it if he's going to be banking in. Uh, the three bank does look like a tempting maneuver because it for sure gets you around uh, that crab claw. I don't think he wants to uh, to risk ionization. Ooh, speaking of obstacles, Dion, mm -hmm. we are playing with new obstacle rules. We sure uh, are. You cannot perform attacks on any uh, regular obstacle, asteroids or clouds on this board. Uh, though, if you maneuver through an obstacle, you do not skip your perform action step. And as you mentioned, those gas clouds will break all locks you have and the locks that are on you, in addition to the strain and rolling uh, for ion tokens. That's one on a hit mm -hmm. and three on a crit, which will fully ionize that large base. The main thing is not shooting. That's right. We'll see if he risks it and just keeps the stress. Or if he's confident that two bank won't hit the obstacle. Is that for your memorabilia wall? Yep. You stole my stream. My stream. Uh... <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> All righty. Uh, so it looks like we have some more network calculations going down. Mm -hmm. Though it appears here that some of those... Okay, we do see groups of calculates here. Mm -hmm. I think there's there's two two on each. I think this one... Uh, I think one of them must have bear rolled then. Is there two on each? Yeah, is it behind it. Where's the top ones then? That's just one deal. There's one behind the ship, isn't it? That's a stress. Oh, I don't know then. Here we go. All right, well, Moloch's coming in, didn't care. Uh, the two bank fit, no problem. Mm -hmm. All right, Maul coming in, choosing violence, clears the strain. So it wasn't even an issue before that K2B4 could be in this engagement. We'll see if that single strain ends up mattering. Maul? No, sorry, not Maul. Django at the top of the board. So it seems like maybe Duncan was uh, was thinking that there might be a more aggressive play towards uh, towards Django Fett, but not so. Daniel going full forces into Maul. Uh, right. Honestly, this this does favor Daniel a little bit. I like this positioning for Daniel. I think he was afraid of this guy right here. Mm -hmm. uh, without the barrel rolls, the fire sprays are very susceptible to Discord missiles. You mm -hmm. have to start crashing. You have to do some real chaotic maneuvers to shake that thing off of you. Discord missiles are a really good tool against fire sprays. Mm -hmm. Fire sprays and falcons. Exactly. They do. They do not like. 
uh, Discord missiles whatsoever. So he's, he's thinking about the. Uh, he's got the DFS three one one quarterback droid. I think this is the this is the other Discord. This guy right here. Mm -hmm. This guy looks keep changing. He's tempted to get rid of it while uh, while he can. If he can launch it into this lane right here, mm -hmm. it could prevent. Uh, or maybe not prevent, but... Possibly pick it up on the 5K? Yeah, exactly. Uh, he's going to hold on to it. He's just going to fire. Normal shots. Mm -hmm. All right. And here we go. Out the back arc. Django still gets a... It's a shot. It is obstructed. Total of four dice. Two plus range. This yeah, is two roll. hits. Oh, and yeah. Dooku did. Dooku for a crit. And the obstacle. Get some of the, what he needs. That extra dice. Spend a calculate. Those independent calculations. Making it so that that droid does still have one for offense. If it can reach Maul. Maul's up here at initiative five. It's going to be a range one attack. Four dice. He's got a hit. A crit. He's got to focus. Is he willing to spend the force? Yes. Yeah, because you could reroll into double blanks. Two hits and a crit. Spends the force there. And one. That's going to be hit crit going through. Is it on the same ship or is it a different one? Yeah, it's on the same one. It had a few leaks, so. Ah, that's, that's what they're leaks. discussing okay. about uh, how much damage cards is. We'll see if Maul attempts the bonus attack here. There it is. There he spent those two. Leaves him at one force. Probably get, get it back with hate. So yeah, not too worried say, about it. Plans on taking three damage here. And he's going at the blue vulture now. That's Ooh. a good roll. Lots of paint there. Can he take off two in one round here? Four. I mean, this is this is the potential that Maul has. He does. Mm, we'll see uh, K2B4. K2 oh, yeah. Seer with K2B4 in range. So, could add an evade. Yeah, we'll gladly. He's, he's taking, he's taking the strain to clear a ship strain. off the board. There That's it is. massive for That's Duncan. the power of Maul. Massive. Up 46 to 0. And now, Maul is, is taking two, two less shots. Best defense is good offense. I heard, is mm. what I heard, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's how that works. <laughs> it, it, it sure can. <laughs> there is a tipping point for sure. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with the rest of the uh, I3s here. Who survived? Mm -hmm. This is going to be a range three unobstructed unobst uh, potentially. All these shots are going into mall. Starting from here. Yep, judge check here. Looks clear to me. That seems clean. These judges have uh, these clear templates with a line down the middle. Very easy to see through the template. You can get them at curlpawcreatives.com. Two hits. Blank. Uh, so this is going to be a... Oh, he's just going to take it, huh? Yep. He's not going to utilize Grievous. Normally, you try to wait for Grievous... Uh, to block a crit because he has that potential. One hit. And that was with a strain. That's why he only had one agility. Gets the natties on this one. So it's taken two shields. Was able to regen two force on that two damage because of hate. Lots of focus results. Only has two calculates. So two hits. One evade. So three shields down. Uh, was it, there might have been a focus result in there that we didn't see. I think he spent one force, yeah. No. To, that's what he. That's how he yeah. prevented damage from the last attack. Yep. All right. Seer, though, probably obstructed. Double check it while they got mm -hmm. a judge available. Didn't they check this obstruction already? That was, that was, Didn't they this I, feel like, I feel like they checked this. No, they checked the one right before. The, ba ba behind the one behind it. it. Got it. Mm 
I mean, looks obstructed to me. We'll find out. It is range two. Three dice coming in. There it is. Spend the focus on Seer for three hits. And the force for one. So it was obstructed. Takes two. And Hate do doing some work as well. I think we just got our first damage card there on mm -hmm. Maul. Correct. Yeah, still holding on to that. Grievous really wants to save it to try to get a uh, crit canceled. Mm -hmm. But he'll have to get two results to go, to go through, though. Blank and a focus. Converts for one. Does get another damage in. Maul absorbing shots. Down to four. That's going to be half points. 46-49. Daniel the to double stress then because he's at full force at the end of the round double stress 311 uh, which is pretty big mm -hmm. uh, you can only clear one stress when you're on the rock uh, so that's going to prevent uh, the token throwing and uh, modifiers for that ship then that's right All right, 48 minutes and change. We, we are uh, we're coming towards the center of this game. Uh, score currently favoring Daniel, but uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough round, I think, for Daniel. He uh, he committed uh, a lot of ships to where Maul is. Now he's got some space with uh, with the oh, Belba Lab and the other three. That's where the other force went. He double stressed that one too. Got it. So. A lot, lot of stress out there. All right, so that means that most likely DFF, we're going to have two vultures without any calculates, and uh, and Jangle Fett most likely hard one boosting in to start helping with that offense. You know, no matter what, you know, we know what's one thing that is a sure bet. Separatist will win. That's it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Separatist Alliance will be taking the fly better open. Our uh, first premiere level event here with GSP live. <laughs> All right, here is the rotate. That does clear one stress using the grappling struts. Mm -hmm. Two bank. I mean, that's currently at range one. Might be good to scoop up a target lock right now. What do you th What do you think? Walls at four hole, or are you doing a reposition? Barrel focus. Yep. Try to catch them all doing that 5k. I like it. Uh, let's see. We're being asked: Are you guys going to be podcasting tomorrow, or are you taking the night off? I think it depends on how I'm feeling tomorrow. <laughs> I know Mrs. GSP would appreciate if I took a day off. And I, I spent I spent you know three days in a row with you guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> we do stream every Monday uh, our podcast. Maybe we do a, an abbreviated version. We'll see. I gotta talk to the team about it. All right, here's the hard turn. And yet we're, we're trying to create another box for Maul. Looks like this is clear. So uh, no grappling struts engaging there. This is unlikely to fit, but well, we'll see. You gotta try. I mean, it's, it's gonna clear the stress no matter what, yeah, which, you gotta, which you is gotta, what you're looking for. You got a hard two, hard two when you're double stressed. Like, what can, what can you do? <laughs> I like that. After this weekend, we'll allow you to take a day off. One day off. One day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That hard two is not going to, uh, not going to clear. Not a huge deal. Wasn't going to get an action anyway. Right. Probably the bigger issue is more like most of that, that is uh, you know kind of putting it at a funky angle. Yeah, I mean it's it's going to be able to hard to then uh, land on the rock at some point there. 
Hard two, hard two. Just jump on the rock if you're if you're alive. The second stress from the one on the rock left because it is part of the effect of grappling struts. If you uh, if you are on there on on one of those um, obstacles, that's what those are called <laughs> obstacles, and you execute a blue maneuver to to rotate. You're going to be clearing that. That's not exactly what it says, but that's the sh abbreviated reason why without yeah, reading yeah. the whole thing. And here, this is the 5K, right? Yeah, yeah. Flip the dip, baby. Yeah, it says skip your perform action step and clear one stress. Yep, there it is. Which is kind of like a blue stop. Mm hmm Which is pretty crazy. If you if you think about it in, in terms of that, ignore an, op ignore an obstacle and do blue stops on it. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. All right, here comes Django. We we expected the hard turn boost. He's gonna. I think he's gonna be just outside of range three. Oh no, that's that's a shot on the the uh, one on the on the the yellow one in the back. I really don't know, but I've been wrong all day, so my <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go the opposite of my gut and say that it is way in, easily in. All right, so. Um, uh, bigger events that are happening, we have the Nova Open. Nova Open, uh, GSP will be there. Uh, the Richmond Open is happening as well. I personally will not be there. We're going to be figuring out a team to see if we can we can get somebody there uh, because that's the same weekend as Star Wars Celebration, and I've had a ticket for the last two years <laughs> yeah. that I haven't used, and I really would like to use it. Um, so I personally can't go to the Richmond Open. There's also the Cherokee Open happening in February. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, That's the week after Crossroads. The, exactly, the week after Crossroads. We will not be there. Um, two two events in a month is, uh, is a little bit little bit rough right now, just with family and scheduling. Okay. Oh, there's checking on us. If you didn't hear Rhymer, <laughs> Rhymer, oh my gosh. If you didn't hear Ryan Farmer, uh, they would like a an official cardboard Discord missile. Daniel is using some fancy acrylic ones. Uh, but yep. uh, under uh, request here, I uh, was going to utilize a cardboard one for the time being. There you oh, go. It looks like that would have that would have clipped him if he launched it the, last round. The, before it would have been on the template, yep. Exactly. I would I would launch that again, it just got nudged around. <laughs> you ready to resume time? Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Resuming time! Oh yeah, easily. And what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Easy, baby. Uh, Jenga might be going for the one who bumped here without the calculate. Yep. Toby, Toby Z, I was asking, answering a question about uh, events on the east coast of the United States. I don't think the Sith Taker Open is on the east coast of the United States, um, unless the UK is moved. You guys moving? I'd be able to make a lot more of your events if you guys it's move pretty on. far east. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two hits and a crit. All right. Got two natties. Going to be taking a critical damage there on the yellow one. And that is a stunned pilot. Ooh, interesting. Stunned pilot. Uh, as we said, uh, the grappling struts allow you to skip your perform action step. So... It won't be executing maneuvers on that obstacle anytime soon. Nope, nope, nope. So a blank crit for the time being. Oscar Pina Flores just gifted a sub. Thank you so much. Uh, there's another. There's another question that. All right, and here comes Maul with some fire. Two hits and a crit. All right, evade focus. 
And Dice has been pretty friendly to both players. Couple of shields there off Seer. Next attack coming in. Hit crit. And another evade focus. So a single and crit coming in to gray there. A loose stabilizer. Loose stabilizer. So, won't kill him mm -mm. if he did want to uh, turn away from the board edge here. All right, we got a couple of initiative threes here to shoot before Seer. Mm -hmm. Putting down that crit token. Crit token save lives, folks. And Isofane still up, 46 to 49. And the droids are on parade now. One hit, spend the force. All force is expended from Maul. No damage there. Next shot. Focus hit. No, everyone, don't, no calculates out there, but does do a damage and gets one back with hate. Down to three. Next shot. Two hits, spends for three. This could do it for Maul, and that's so, a blank. Maul's no, down. No. Grievous. But does he trigger? Yep. yep he I see he's grabbing it. He flipped it. So that takes two. No, it, correct. It cancels it one. Takes two instead of three. Mm -hmm. There's one more shot. 311. Double stress, no mods on this one. Possibly range one. Yep, that's three dice in his hand. Here comes DFS 311. He got a single hit. Looks like he's actually range two. That's a blank. Got him. Darth Maul goes down 90, uh, 46 to 97. Yep, he's going to throw out uh, Palpatine's stress. Yep, before, before, before you go out. Yep, he, he basically stressed almost all of those ships. Yep. So now here's the thing. Uh, you got Django versus two vultures that have two hull. And uh, Captain Seer is out there as well. Uh, let's go ahead and, and shove shove the dead ones to the bottom so we can get the other ones. Oh, now you're in up. on it. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's because of the crits. That's because of the crits, bro. There's a reason now. <laughs> I know. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. So... There you go. Still got some alive there. Yeah, loose stabilizer stunned pilot. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Django certainly could uh, handle these guys pretty easily. Mm -hmm. uh, the double stress uh, as well, really buying him some extra time here. Oh, someone, uh, that's what someone mentioned was the road rules. Now, mm -hmm. while this event was following random player order after dials, that's right. there is no overlap in this matchup. No overlap in initiative, but also no effects during the like start of engagement, any start of phase, which mm -hmm. are determined by player order. Uh, we don't have any effects in this matchup, so it's it's a moot point. Right. In, right. in those games... I mean, same thing at Adepticon. Like, if you don't have please, overlap, please don't. don't you don't have to you, you don't have to waste your time rolling it. If you have if you have the overlap, do it. But make it's sure very to do, important. Yeah, d do double check. It. Double. I mean, you have to. You have no choice <laughs> unless you have zero overlap. But double check for those uh, those phase beginning of whatever phase, end of whatever phase um, triggers. Uh, triggers. Yeah, because those are those are road as well. Uh, somebody asking, what, shouldn't have Django, uh, excuse me, shouldn't have Maul gotten a range, uh, obstruction bonus. Um, the struts cancel out that bonus. That's part of the effect. Right, because you are ignoring it. Mm -hmm. uh, you are not penalized for uh, shooting through it. All right, we'll see if...
All right. Somebody's wondering what's on, what's that on Jenko's ship? You got uh you got some some Legos. Dunk, Dunk, Duncan is a big big fan of big fan of Lego, and he likes to use his uh, his minifigures to to show show effects. He's got a, a Count Dooku on there and a Jango Fett. Yeah, that's model. so fun. They look awesome. Yeah, he had Maul and uh, uh, or no, he had yeah he had Maul, Grievous, and Palpatine on uh, on uh, Maul's base. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think he's got like a custom uh, like a ring around his peg. Uh, that has hold. the dots. Yeah, because they're not glued. You, I've seen them take them on and off when, yeah, when I think necessary. He also he also may have glued just some base plates onto onto there. That could work too. Django for what? Django is the pilot. All right. So how many? Do we have any Discord missiles left? Let's let's hide hide the overlay here for one moment. As anybody who doesn't have the audio on freaks out. No wait, that's not one. That's not one. Yeah, it's the it's it's uh, separatist drone. It's none, none, and then the three of them after that, and they're on the right side. I don't think so, right? I think they're all used up. I don't know. I'll get a better visual. I can't. I can't tell in that mess of cards. Okay. All right. Is 311 still stressed? That should be it for the stress. Say that again? Just blue? 34 minutes. 3 4. Yeah, just blue. Okay. Will informing us that blue does The token happen. I circled was uh, yellow's color marker, not mm -hmm. a charge. So yeah, let's go ahead. We'll do we'll do one of these. We'll go ahead and scrap that. And the other one is dead, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so did move forward and fix the loose stabilizer. You should have some time before Jenko shows up. I like this. Might try to boost past. All right. Mm -hmm. The one with stun pilot has it. Mm, no, ye yellows don't doesn't. Oh, oh, you're so. So once again, you when you have struts, you skip your uh, execute maneuver step, uh, which will never trigger stunned pilot. Then mm -hmm. you put the put the stunned pilot crit on. Have a have a flash through. The which one? I'm sorry, stunned pilot. Yeah, stunned pilot. So it's only after you execute a maneuver. Mm hmm. If you somehow got tractor beamed onto a rock, that would not count either. Nope. But you can't, as uh, you couldn't, you can't, you can't do that. Can't anymore. That's not, not a thing. Not. Back in the olden days. In the olden days. You used to tractor beam me onto a rock. Yep. And uh, somebody did bring up, like, this is uh, the, most likely, the last premier level final of a, the original dogfight before we get objectives going. At least for a while. We will still have a uh, dogfight format. A little bit of objective with the, uh, the random encounter we got coming here. That's going to be two hits and a crit going through K2B4 trigger. I mean, you just let it, right? Like, yeah, sure. Add your evade. Takes a strain. And no, that, one, that one's already damaged. Two hits, two hits would kill it. Oh, I guess not. I guess he's killing a different one. Let's go ahead and just double check to see which one gets pulled off the board is yellow. Like yellow, we had two damage on it. We might have something mis, uh, misinformed at some point. 
A lot of, lot of damage being rolled around right now. I guess it's I guess it's the other one with the Discord that has the the stunt. Yep, I guess we, we had it we it's, had we it's had it wrong. One. It's the uh, blue one? Yeah. Blue Discord is the one that has it. Alright, sorry about that folks. A couple people had been calling it out. Got that fixed. When you bring a bunch <laughs> when you bring five ident almost identical ships. It's gonna happen. <laughs> So now Duncan uh, still behind though, 71 to 97. There's a big chunk of points in Captain Seer. Big chunk of points in Captain Seer. What's the, what's he gonna take to lead? 27 to lead? Mm hmm. So that's more than two halves of a vulture, as a note. Well, I still had a. Uh, yeah, he has color. He has color markers on there. It's just they're faint. Yeah, like they're they're really recognizable, like in know. person. Yeah, but between all the blue and the lighting, and he kind of gets washed out. He does have all of the matching dials too, which I think is really cool. He does. I I don't. Yeah, because I stickered up my vultures like the moment I unboxed them. I don't think yeah. I've ever flown a vulture swarm without them being colored. Yep. It's so helpful. Oh my. Oh my, is it so helpful. Now, before we go too far, remember, use coupon code LVO22 for 22% off at curlpawcreatives.com. Get your acrylic needs met I have acrylic needs you do you really do search your soul you know it to be true all right where are we going we're flipping some dials we are staying and rotating here at DFS doing this thing captain seer 1k yeah captain seer is gonna have to keep that stress uh, ended up getting double stress from Palpatine earlier. I mean, Maul, Maul, did, Maul did his job. He was able to clear a, a, the three ships, mm -hmm. double stress everybody, and left left these Vulture droids in a state of disarray to come in and clean it up. Okay. There's the crit marker. Mm -hmm. Now we know who's stunned. <laughs> We're going to blame it on ISO. Putting, putting the crit marker on the wrong ship. Django going away. Yeah, that's a good bomb drop to uh, avoid pursuit here. It is. We'll see if he can use that back arc. I don't think he has range to see her. That does hurt Duncan. Remember, he is, be he is behind. So go into 311 then? Yep. We got an obstruction. Ooh, he's he's reaching for the, the hurt one there mm -hmm. too. Light blue one at the top. It's the final Discord carrier. That's something that Django does not want. And it, that's, that Daniel wants to get that on. He want, He's looking for that opportunity. Yeah, I can imagine. Because then it's uh, there's just a survival game, right? Mm -hmm. Just wait until that bleeds him dry of all of his shields. A uh, single hit. Got a little bit of that was a Dooku mix to a crit. Dooku to the crit. And Natty's out. Win in doubt. Natty out. Now Daniel does get a shot back. See if you do anything here. Spends calculate for two. This is going to be three agility with the range bonus. And blank focus. Oh, that was the lone wolf reroll. Two it shields is. down. All right. We're starting to plink away at Django. That's a, I think that's a big deal. Losing the shields and not getting anything out of that. 
Yeah, we have uh, another shot here. 311, Natty's two. Two hits, and there two it hits, is. Two hits. Green dice warming up for Duncan there. Yes, the, uh, the pressure is on for Duncan. He needs two more damage on Tessier to have. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a big chunk of points. Would actually that, put that, him that would put him ahead. Mm -hmm. Yep. But now he, here's the question: Like Duncan's behind. Um, with with 25 minutes, he does have enough time to co like oh. come back around. Mm -hmm. In either way, he could talon roll if he wanted to towards the corner over here because these two vultures um, are are not facing. You know, are, they're, they're not close enough to actually get attacked. Most likely, if we did a talent roll, or he could be boosting to the top of the board. What do you think? Uh, I, I think he's just gonna do the hard to do a little bit of range control. Uh, what I wanted to know is your revealed maneuver. Interesting. I wonder if Daniel is. Uh, I think that was. There's a, a question on. Uh, what the uh, maneuver that was revealed for the one on the struts? Mm -hmm. I was checking: is it the maneuver you executed, or is it the color on your dial? Mm. And what, what did the card say? It's revealed a dial. Revealed dial. So you still reveal a dial, even though you don't fully execute that maneuver, because you need to know if you're going to rotate or not, or to jump off the obstacle. Proton bomb. All right, and it looks like we're rotating. Quarterback droid. Going to be able to calculate now. Yeah, 311 also underrated. By the way, with uh, with grappling struts and independent calculations, an amazing 23-point support ship. Isophane, he's getting aggressive with his remaining forces. Mm, I don't know the officiality of that bomb. Do you, know, do you know? I do not. It might be. Uh, we'll assume it is. All right. I th that acrylic bomb could be official. Yeah. Hey, it's not a big deal. Let's let's not uh let's, <laughs> let's not make a big deal out of nothing. I'm sure it's fine. Yep. Okay, so we have that uh, loose stabilizer separatist drone mm -hmm. coming back into the fight. Needs to hurry up and regroup with his friends here. All right, Django going towards the top of the board. Okay. Taking the boost towards the top. He's going to start trying to strafe. It's a classic fire spray technique. Uh, he'll probably, if Daniel doesn't bite, if Daniel doesn't bite on uh, on the kiting, uh, then Duncan, I mean, the fire spray has enough juice to be able to come back in. Are we going to see a sear crack shot here? We could. Does he have him in the bullseye? I All believe right. so. Here we go. That's two hits. Natties and uh, looks like it's not in the bullseye. Must have been that. Oh no, he's gonna measure Seer. And it looks like we're cleaning up. No shots. Was, wasn't uh, wasn't in the bullseye, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Proton Bomb was the official seismic charge token 2015. 
There you go. So got got the answer yeah, you guys I were thought, looking for. I thought it was. There was blue and white ones. There's a lot of one. There was those there was there was a few few different kinds of the the square ones. Oh, I guess there's red ones too. There's black and red ones too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dan doing a great job here protecting Captain Sear. It's a big investment. Oh yeah. Just has to survive and hold on to points. Because let's see, let's, so 27 points to lead, right? Yep. So yeah, still still two halves of a vulture, which is weird to say, but I think people understand what I'm trying to say. Right, say exactly. You, you could get <laughs> <laughs> two halves make a whole. So yeah, you can you can have one and then have another, and that that gets you gets you what you need. No, that wouldn't be enough. Two halves. There's no vulture that's worth 27 points. He needs more than two halves of a vulture. Got it. Okay. All right, so Seer boosting. And we are bringing the swarm to bear here. Let's see, strafe or fight? No, we're gonna get, we have one more vulture to move here. Ooh, good All point right. about the proton bomb and Imperium plating interaction. I don't know if I'd risk the 25%. That, that, is, uh, that, is, that is bold. If, if, you, if, if you it need happens, to. If, if it happens. Yeah. And we Same are going to work. Dooku crits, I guess, too, right? Yep. Yeah. So I, I will say I'm not a fan of, of, uh, of what Daniel did this turn. Um, if, if you want, ch chasing if, the if, kite. If Django 4K'd, he would launch a Discord. Yep, that's true. He's he's chase he's chasing the Discord missile. You're right. Right. He really wants it. And we're gonna get some some one on one action here. Now Seer's close enough to initiate that K2 before, and uh, Dooku will not be able to crits. leave there. That's a Dooku hit, a two Dooku crit, and one hit. Got it. And got the natties, actually. Able to hold on to those calculates for offense. Here's a shot back. One hit. Force was used on offense. And there's one squiggle right there in the middle. Yep, no problem. Easy. Seventeen minutes and change. Uh, they're doing, I, I believe, a Lupin Tui Chewy tiebreaker for the side event. For the That's side event, really yeah. heating up over there. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if there's not a lot of places Django could go. He's he's got he's got a hard he's got a hard one and a boost. He's got a hard one and a boost. That vulture is hitting the gas, right? Like how? Yeah. Isn't, isn't that, I mean, do we have Discord Discord missiles next turn? Like almost guaranteed? Yeah, you can just two straight. Right. Maybe three if you think it doesn't hit the cloud. Yeah. The hard turn boost or just the hard turn is, yeah. Might be able to bank boost. Depending on that hard turn, might be able to bank boost, but mm -hmm. that's about it. So yeah, might be able to catch the Discord in the corner here. <laughs> hey, thank you for the sub, Minnesota Merc. He's, he's, he's right. He's right there. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. <laughs> All right, people. People sitting there tuning into the into the stream <laughs> to see what the score is. Alright, that looks like a two straight. Jumping off the rock in order to be part of the group. I really, I really want to see what this uh, this light green this teal one is doing. Seer. A little bit faster of a maneuver. Looks like a three straight. Yeah, it's their fastest stress clearing. Mm -hmm. And the boost going in for a shot. 
So very good chance of trading shots with uh, with Captain Seer. Takes a stress. Oh, Daniel, you're killing me. Hmm? I want to. I want to see. I want to see the one I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's gonna save it for last. Yeah. Make it a show of it. I think he only did the two. I, I don't know if I'd risk the three. <sighs> no, not not at all what we thought. I th I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Oh, it's because of the proton bomb. I guess you're right. Oh, yeah. You're right. There Fair was a enough. second proton bomb. You're right. Daniel, this is why you're in the final. <laughs> All right. Good That's idea. That's true. That's true. Too focused on the, the Discord. Yep. Um, you look at that positioning and you go, yeah, that would it would have been a Discord. And I guess that would have been a trade, right? You're you're taking uh, the half points. You know half what? points for, for probably a, uh, a couple... Would end up being two to three damage over time. All right, if you hear the, the yelling. <laughs> Point totals, I'm going to pause the timer. Um, it is Duncan 71 and Isofane 97. If we can confirm health, just to double check, make sure that's right. We got the black with two hole left, is that correct? Uh, light blue with two hole left. That's a discord carrier. With stun pilot. With a stun pilot. DFS 311 is full. And Captain Seer with five hole. And then Django has two shields down. Yep. All right. Time resuming now. Uh, 1445. 1445. This is intense. So no shots this turn. We didn't see a start of engagement throw here. We did not. DFS hasn't done his thing in a while. Just one hit. Wouldn't have matter. <laughs> no, apparently not. And he's got he's got the force, doesn't he? He's doing lone wolf. Lone wolf. The force. Because there's a he, seer shot as well. So he's this. taking the shield there. He's n not going to spend the force. Here's the seer shot. This is this is the one Duncan's word was worried about. Three dice. We got two. Hmm. Well, four dice with the force. Dooku's the of eight. Mm -hmm. Guarantees the one, so that's, that's smart. He's debating whether he wants to hold on to the force. He's doing the math in his head. Uh, looks like he's keeping it. And he rolls to... No big deal. He got, he got what he needed. The, uh, the math on it says that you should roll one of eight on four dice. The difference is that... If you need to block one, mm -hmm. you you should do go. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, it worked out. Sounds like we have our winner for the side event. <laughs> Settled down <laughs> after the uh, after the Loop and Chewy match. Gotta love that. Do you remember the day in history, William, when Chewy somebody on a final table <laughs> of a system open played Loop and Chewy to pass the time? Uh, why, like, literally while the game was going. Yeah, I don't know why. They didn't even take the models off they, or anything. They just moved them out they, of the way. They, they actually took turns. And they agreed to just we, fly. We set, dial <laughs> set dials set to dials fly them to the edge of the periphery <laughs> and then place it. That was that was an amazing day. Uh, go ahead. Look up that. Ad Adepticon 2018? Seven, uh, 18, yeah. Yeah, twenty Adepticon 2018 finals video. You'll have a good time. Good day in X-Wing history. All right, now fast, fast forward a couple hours into it, though. Yep. <laughs> now Duncan Howard uh, has seven hole left on that Django Fett. Daniel has a pretty good force. He has two uh, two vultures away from um, from popping. Obviously, no bonus attacks available for Django. His uh, proton bombs being depleted means the fact that he doesn't have a way to do damage to more than one ship at a time while Daniel of course has four ships available to fire he loses one he still has three um, trading half of Django would be devastating 
devastating. Two damage, right? Yeah. Two damage? Mm-hmm. Or two away. So th two this is getting... a lot of pressure on Chango. It's it's big now. Of course, the fire spray has the tools to do it. We talk about it all the time. Uh, that back arc with three attack dice, uh, a, a fantastic dial and uh, and boost, uh, is really good. And we're about to get Django in the open field, so he'll be able to be able to do some moving here, and uh, and try to make something happen. All right. Isofane purposely bumping the ships to waste time here. Jeez. <laughs> you can have somebody out there on the internet believe that you're saying that for real. <laughs> Will said, "No, no." Will no, said no. he's trying to stack. He's trying to stack the box <laughs> in order to make sure that he has arc. He, he wants his ships tight yeah. to to get a read on where Duncan is going with that Django Fett, and then be able to react. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to hyperextend or overextend. Excuse me, any of these vultures. And Seer, this is a really aggressive said, play. Well, he said he just went over extend with the vultures. With the vultures, this is true. Hey, this, there's no range zero attack, so let's go in for the block. It, this is true. I mean, if Seer can trade shots with Django, he's in on it. Mm -hmm. Unlikely to die. Takes a Can't focus. Can't be direct critted. Direct critted. Direct, direct hitted, direct hitted, critted. All right. So this is a hard two. This is the positioning of the uh, the, the Discord, Discord missile carrier. The Discord. Oh, tasty, <laughs> delicious. All right. Let's see what we end up getting. <laughs> and here we go. We're gonna mark a ship out the way. Looks looks like somebody's hitting the gas here. It's a four straight. Oop. Oh. That got a little nudge there. And that is an he's going he's going for a block, isn't he? Yes he is. Bear roll. Don't even bother calculating. Now Jango could four forward boost. Mm-hmm. The problem with that uh, commitment the 4-4 four forward boost is that if he doesn't score points this round mm -hmm. that, Daniel can disengage to the right. He can. We haven't seen uh, we haven't seen Duncan use again. a talon roll yet. That could be a move that he needs to use in the future. This looks like a one hard. It is a one hard. He was opening up that lane back to uh, Django's left side screen right side. Uh, has the option to boost. Uh, without taking any shots, I think that's what you do, right? Do you have the space there to boost? Oh man, that medium base. Right I mean, there. I'm telling you, I mean, Daniel is kicking himself right now for doing that barrel roll. Oh, it, it failed. oh the boost it failed. just failed. It failed. That is massive. It failed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that that could be that could be the game, right there. It does, it, the boost didn't fit. That means Django doesn't get an action. Well, that, yeah. That also means he has to hard turn to not hit it next round. Yep. Oh, wait, we get your action these days. That's no fine. wiggle room. I'm sure, I am sure that, that there was no, <laughs> there was not enough space in the wiggle room. Sorry. <laughs> All right, Django looking for a big, big hit right here. Go 311 or the one with, uh. No, I, w I will say that uh, Captain Seer looks cocked. Slightly to the I left. Know. I don't think he has has a shot. All right, some tricky, tricky positioning here. He was checking Sears arc, I believe, mm -hmm. to see if he wanted to uh, double to triple focus, Duku crit. Lone wolf. Lone wolf didn't get anything out of that one. That charge has been set, and that is going to go through. We have the possibility yep, of K2B4. K2B4. He's taking the strain, and it is not a ship crit. It is a no. It's direct hit on the vulture. A direct hit on the vulture. There it is. So which one? Which one just went down? That's that's the stunned. He's gone. So no discord missiles. Got a range one shot there. Duncan is still behind by one. 96-97. Only one calculate available. Takes the damage on that. 
Shields are down on Django. Did Sear have a shot? No, I don't think so. Because that's why that's why John Duncan ran around the table. Yeah, because he couldn't. He had to visually check on that. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna do official range check. Oh yeah, this is the time to do it. It's better to be safe than sorry. This is, these are the finals. It is very close. All right, Duncan eyeballed it correctly. No shot, it looks like. He's on pause and timer. Duncan, 96. Isofane, 97. <laughs> huh? We have five minutes and 56 seconds. Time resumes now. This happened at the last LVO too, where it was just it was just a too trade close. back and too forth. Uh, Listen, uh, this is this is the kind of premier level X wing you want to see. It, it's it's tight. The final matters. We we are right there. Uh, no no blowouts here. So one damage on Django is secures the win. Mm -hmm. But you can hard to this guy or a hard one. Yes, you're not stressed. Seer leaves. <sighs> I don't. Does, doesn't Captain Sear have to help? You would think, but let's double check that dial. Let's okay. double check that dial one more time. Here, oh, I lost the mouse deal. Here we it. go. We got you. <laughs> we go all the way to the right, and I usually nope. Okay, that didn't work. There it is. Hello, I'm a little mousy. Uh, so, dial. What, what, what did you want to check? Sears Captain dial. Sears' dial. Not stressed. What kind of options does he have? Just the sloop out this way, and or else. I mean, he's got nothing over here. Oh uh, well, let's let's find out. Let's 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 see what we get. Oh shoot! There you go. Fix that. Easy. Let's get the spell blood out of here. Yep. All right, so the sloop fits. The sloop fits. He's going to have a shot. All right. It's a risky play. Risky play. We're we'll doing. Get, we'll get a calculate from 311, so it won't be modless mm -hmm. there. Though it is a liability, Dooku's got to stay in fight, right? That's right. Who's Dooku, going? he's 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 going over. He's risking ionization, and a, he's getting a strain, guaranteed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He will be able to do an action. New, new obstacle rules being used in here. That's a focus. No ion. Duncan stating outside. Let's see, three for three in the cut. Apparently, he uh, he's been <laughs> jumping over those and getting ionized. So, hey, you know what? it's worked out for him. Being ionized has worked out. He's gotten all the way to the final. This is a close one, everybody. Don't 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 walk away. We are gonna have a conclusion. We're gonna have our fly better open champion here in the next few minutes. All right, that looks possibly to be obstructed. Two minutes left on the clock. We'll probably get one more turn. Duncan taps the table two times. Somebody deal him a card. <laughs> All right. Here we go. That's a blackjack joke. Um, Duncan Howard firing. <sighs> Trail mix. You got Lone Wolf. You have Dooku. Lone Wolf focus. for a focus. And how did he modify two of them? He's got a focus token. He's, got, he's used a focus token. Got it. Trail mix on the evade dice. So we're going to spend a single. Oh yeah, Django. White versus red. Thank you. And that, that was at the. That means this is the vulture, right? No, it's into seer. Isn't Django zero to two? No, it's just a dial. One hit from Daniel. 
Double focus. He just took a damage. He just took a damage. That. Oh, that might lock it. 96, 149. Final turn. Forty-five seconds left. Last turn. Daniel's just got a not fifty-three. Twenty-nine seconds left. Where where can he go? He's got a. It has to be a talent roll, right? It's gotten real quiet, so that's where we're we're getting getting a little quiet. So what's what's Seer? Seer took how many damage? Let's 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 go find out find out real quick. Just double check. What do we got there? It was the vulture that took the other damage. Okay. The vulture's on one health. Uh, D DFS? No, this one. This one's what it shot at. Okay. Right there. So he's got half points. 107, 149. Time in the round! Or no. Uh, no. Seer does have two damage cards, though. As well. Seer does have two damage cards? Okay. So... Point total. All right. Well, one, we need 137, 149. What, your vulture has two damage cards, and so does Seer. Let's just double, double check it all. And you have one damage card on yes, Django? Yes, I'm on Django. Okay. All right, so I need 12 points to secure the tie. 13 12, 12 to tie. Left. <laughs> So he's got two health left on black? Okay. All right, that changes the score from what we have. DFS is full. DFS is full. Sears half. You need... Okay, you need 23 points to, to, to tie 24 to win. So what 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 points do we have out here? So it's getting DF, D, killing DFS is a tie. Correct. Killing Captain Seer is a win. Is a win. <laughs> yeah, it's time in the round. So yeah, they can uh, they can take as much time as they want to figure out what what he wants what he wants to do. This is gonna be it. This is this is the final decision. Well, listen. I mean, so for for the audience, it's if you boost in, you can shoot here. Yep. Okay? If you boost out, you can shoot here. Well, okay. Let's go. Let's go here. <laughs> that sorry. looked exactly the same. <laughs> no, sorry. If you go here, the arc's looking like that, right? Right. So it's depending on which way you boost is who you're trying to shoot at. He's, Duncan's thinking about, is there any way we can get barrel roll on this thing? <laughs> uh, righty. Yeah, the, 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 the Django's double repositioning. Oh, man. Yeah, thank be, God afterburners are small base only. Yep, yeah, ex exactly. All right, well, he, let me know. Those of, you, those of you out there, so this is going to, it, it, it would be, well, here's the thing. It's, if you boost to the left, there is a risk of being out of range. There is a risk of being out of range. And we, th that, that's the, that's the worst outcome. Uh, going at the, uh, the vulture, going at the DFS 311, right? Mm -hmm. That's the one there at the top, uh, top center, uh, has a calculate. A single calculate one, and uh, Seer has two. This I don't. I don't know what I would do. I, I have no idea. Uh, the mass says it's easier to kill the the ship with the with the calculate. calculate. It, yeah, it it does, uh, which goes for the tie. This would but it, it, it doesn't matter because you need three and they need to blank out. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, but that's you, that's the same thing you need on both sides. You need a well, blank no. out on both sides. No, there's a difference. It's, it's this upgrade deal. Ah, uh, impervious plating. Which means you can't do coup the crit. You can't do coup the And if you accidentally roll a crit. So the answer is go for the tie. Right? You got risk on. Let's go for the tie. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my goodness. This is this is massive. If if we tie, this will be the second fly better open that ends. Here we go. Here we're gonna find out. He's going for the tie. He's going for the tie. Let's Let's focus here. These dice rolls matter. Django must be perfect here. Or get a, a spicy crit. Double damage would matter. He's got Lone Wolf and Dooku available. Okay. Here's the Lone Wolf. He's got hit crit. Hit, he's got that step one. Hit, hit, crit. The defense dice coming in. I'm shaking. It's, it comes down to the crit. Take K2 before. Yeah, I'll take this. Here we go. Not a double damage. And with that, Daniel Lim, Isofane is your Fly Better Open champion. Wait, whoa, what a way to end that game. <laughs> Came down to the wire. Congratulations to both competitors. That was awesome. Thank you to Iso, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.